Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this pretty, this would almost trace probably, but they, this will be so easy to draw. It's just, I almost believe they did it in Corel in an artistic media tool. So we're going to take an ellipse and I'm going to put it in the center of the page like I always do. And there's a lot of reasons for that on this case. <clears throat> there's two ways to split. We need a a quarter of this. There's two ways you can do it. If you're not too familiar, you can just take a straight line and hit P, Control D, 90 degrees, and take your virtual segment delete key and delete every other line, and you have the quarter of a turn. The other way to do it that you'll, if you become accustomed to it, is if you grab your shape tool, well, you don't even have to grab your shape tool, pick tool, and right here <clears throat> is an arc. And just make it 90 degrees. By chance, by chance it's putting it where I want it. Um, let me get rid of that. Because I want to work with it on this side. Now, we're going to go to the artistic media tool. And this one right here is your presets. And you have a bunch of presets. So we want one that has a sharp point. Now that's too thick, but we can lower it. And a lot of times it won't even do that. You have to go to it. So I'm gonna say that's about, about right. You could make it a little bit thinner. Now, as always, I'm gonna select it you can go up to object and break the artistic media apart. I've got my nudge set on two inches so I can nudge it back. See this invisible? It's not invisible, it's there. That's what was our original line. And it just becomes invisible for some reason. So if we take this, it's so much easier just to delete it. Now we're working in the center of the page and I'm gonna bring in indexing lines and I'm just gonna show you. And I'm really surprised nobody's asked me uh, about the macro because I, I don't think everybody's seen the video, uh, how to get this to rotate in the center. So I'm gonna go Control D and then I'm gonna go Alternate C. And if you look at, put this in the center of the page, I am gonna find that video and put it at the bottom of this video. Because that's a, that's a game changer to be able to just do that automatically. <clears throat> now we're going to rotate at 90 degrees, control D, control D. Now, I don't know that he needs those colors. He didn't mention it, uh, but you can very easily get those colors. I'm going to try to make it about the right side. His, his might be a little bit thicker, but he could play with that. You know, I don't know how big that logo is originally. Uh, let's take a square box, holding down the control button, make a square. But we're going to do the color of these first. Tell you what, and see the box is taking control. So I'm going to, that box is like 12 inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor on 13. I'm going to move my box out of the way because it's going to take control. I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to group them together. That way I only have to go and do one color. I am going to get the eyedropper tool in this case, the color eyedropper, and take a sample and put it, well, it didn't do them all, but it's very easily just, you've got to have this, the square block to do this. Now, let's do the, we can actually, um, so we use the color eyedropper on that. Let's use the smart fill on the other one. So we're going to go right here and grab an eyedropper and grab that color and put it in there. I'm gonna left click no outline, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to object order back a page. That way when I nudge this over, because <laughs> it was the last thing I created, so it should be on top. I don't need that outline, and I don't need the calculator. <clears throat> I would be willing to bet, I don't know that he needs the colors. Um, yeah, his are a little bit thicker. Uh, his line's a little bit thicker, but that's, very easily done. Anyway, and if you look at the difference between fuzzy and vector art. 
Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.